Hello my beautiful internet friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming this easy peasy Diwali makeup look using minimal products as possible and the products I'm using are from drugstore, mainly are from drugstore. And today's tutorial highlight is the Maybelline 24K Nudes palette. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. First step, I'm using my Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Hydration to keep my skin looking flawless and nicely hydrated. My skin can use some love because it's gonna be a long day and long night. Second, I'm correcting my dark circles using LA Girl Orange Corrector and then concealing my under eyes using a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25. And the reason I'm doing this is to make sure my skin looks as flawless as possible and I could really use some help with my dark circles. For foundation, I'm using MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NW35. I know this shade is a little bit warm for my skin tone, but I love this foundation anyways because this foundation can handle the humidity and heat very well. Now after blending my concealer into my foundation or the foundation into the concealer, I'm straight moving on to filling my brows using my holy grail Anastasia Beverly Hills Drow, Drow? No, Brow Duo Powder in the shade Ebony. Now it's time for the showstopper that is Maybelline 24K Nudes Palette and I'm digging into this light shade to set my primer that is Too Faced Shadow Insurance and also it will act like a transition color. After that, I'm using this dark brown color to create a cat eye effect and then filling, filling the outer third of my eye with the same dark brown color. And this color is super pigmented, so use wisely. Then I'm using this beautiful light and shiny cream color in the rest of my eyelid and blending both the colors together really, really well. And as you can see, they look really beautiful after blending together. After that, I'm using my Maybelline concealer to highlight the high points of my face. That is under my eyes, my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, the sides of my face, my moustaches, chin, and blending it all using my damp beauty blender. After all that's done, it's time to smoke out the lower lash line using the brown shade and highlight the inner corner of my eye using the golden, gorgeous golden shade. To conceal and lock my concealer in place, I'm using this Soap & Glory's Kick-Ass Pressed Powder. It will also help to brighten the under eyes a little bit and take away the shiny and oiliness under my eyes. After that, I'm straight jumping into warming up my face. For that, I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in the shade medium to tan, I believe. Uh, and just warming up the perimeters of my face and my nose. For blush, I'm using my Holy Grail Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the, sh in the shade Sweet Cheeks. And this is going to give me that nice dewy finish because it has little bit of highlighter in it. And also it is going to give me that pink perky cheeks. For highlighting my face, I'm going to use my Oprah highlighter. I'm not so sure about the name of this highlighter, but I'm going to leave the product details in the des description box below. So please be sure to check it out and do let me know if you have any questions. And here I'm just highlighting the high points of my face that is the bridge of my nose my cheeks the temples of my forehead and a little bit of my chin a little bit of my chin and uh, uh, above my lips for my lips i'm going first with rimmel london's indian pink and to tone down the color a little bit i'm using this nude shade from Revlon Ultra HD lip color. I'm going to leave both the color names and their direct link in the description box below. So please be sure to check that out too. And after that, I'm straight moving on to my, um, to curling my lashes and then putting the mascara. 
For my lashes, I'm using this Maybelline Rocket Volume Mascara and I'm really going heavy hand on this because I'm not using any falsies and I'm going to coat my upper lashes and lower lashes of both. To put together this look, I added black bindi, a chunky gold jewellery and a colourful bracelet to my look and I'm wearing this beautiful Jaipuri top with a Jaipuri printed skirt, long skirt and this skirt is really really flary and really comfortable and this top is actually very comfortable and I bought this top and this skirt from Globus I believe in New Delhi. I hope you liked my video, this easy peasy look and if you did then please be sure to like this video please leave me a comment in the comment box below i love to read all your comments and i love you all so much please be sure to follow me on all other social medias i keep creating small short videos on my facebook and my instagram i'm much more active there so if you want to know more about me uh, be sure to be sure to follow me on instagram and facebook and snapchat my handle is in the description box below and I love you all and I see you in the next one bye